Hey there everyone, uh, this is a special video. Um, it's an unboxing, kind of. <laughs> um, it's, a, it's a gift. Um, I have no idea what it is. Um, that's not entirely true. I know what one thing in this box is, but the box is way, way bigger than that item. So I have no idea what the other stuff is. And this is a box that comes to me from uh, someone I really like here on YouTube. Uh, this person asked not to be named, so I'm not going to give out any information. <laughs> um, they didn't want to be named. They don't. They have a channel, but they don't put any videos on it. And it's the kind of thing where, like, they just didn't want any kind of recognition for this. It's not like one of those kind of gifts, I guess. Um, it's a... You know, something that this person wanted to send, and they I said, well, you know, I have some other stuff that maybe you'll like, so I'll just throw it in. And I was not expecting a box this big, uh, definitely not this big, at least. So I'm pretty excited to open this. I've unstuck the tape and everything, but I haven't um, looked at what's inside. So we're going to do that together. Um, so this will be my initial reactions to whatever this stuff is. And there is a card on top here, and I'm, I'm going to look at it, but I probably am not going to read it out loud. So if there's a weird jump cut here, it's because I'm not going to, I'm trying not to give away any information about this person who didn't want to be named. So, um, I guess I'll insert jump cut here. Okay, we're back. Um, it was actually a pr pretty uh, long amount of writing in there. It's uh, pretty good, though. Um, again, this is a person I, I've talked to a bunch uh, in comments and in email and messages and stuff. And it's, you know, there are a few people on YouTube that um, I, you know, I can't have contact with through only comments. They don't have a channel or they only message me or whatever. And I, I think I like uh, there's a lot of people in those people that message me a lot that I really like. So getting, actually having them, someone send me a gift is like totally, especially like looking at this, there's a lot of stuff in here, um, is really awesome. And I think like, you know, totally unnecessary, but totally awesome at the same time. And like I said, there's one thing that is in here that I know. And... I. I honestly don't... I, I know the general size of it, so I want to try and find that first. <laughs> uh, it might be this, actually. Um, but the other stuff, no idea. And it's... I don't know. So we're going to we're gonna open this. And it's all, like, extremely bubble-wrapped. And also individually wrapped. But... Yeah. So we are going to open this. I'm going to try and be gentle. Oh, okay, so this isn't what I thought it was going to be. This is something different. Let me get this wrapping off. Okay. This right here is uh, Disgaea 4 Special Edition on the PS3, and this is um, in English. So this is the US version, um, I guess. It's actually, I, I've actually played all of the Disgaea games except Disgaea 4 and D2, so, um, and I've been waiting for them to come out on handhelds mostly, so I haven't, I actually don't have this, even though it's been out forever. Um, so, I'm actually going to play this on the PS3, which is, it'll be the first uh, Disgaea game I've played on a console, actually. <laughs> all the other ones I've played on either PSP or Vita, so, awesome, this is so good. I have no idea what's in this, this box here, but it sounds... Oh, it looks like figures? Something? What is it? Character... Here's a game. Character, and there's something that I I don't want to try it. I don't want to wreck, so I'm not going to pull it out. Um, it doesn't say on the box, does it? Oh, yeah, it's a Fuka figure. All right. This guy for This is awesome. Uh, I don't, I don't have a spot to put place any of this stuff because I'm 
putting all this wrapping paper here. I guess I'll put it to the side over here. Move the box over a little. Okay. Next. Next. This could be it too, but it looks too big for the uh, <laughs> item I'm thinking. Um, could be though. I don't, I don't really know. Th this is kind of heavy. <laughs> um, awesome. I want to say these are packed really nicely. Like they're they're wrapped really well. And I don't know what this is. I saw it a little bit, but I still don't know what it is. So I guess. Stuff over there. Oh, oh wow oh wow <laughs> it's actually speak of the devil it's this guy a d2 and it's a huge box um this one is easier to open so i can actually oh cool it, it's got a art book and a soundtrack and figures of some kind in the bottom but wow this is awesome you know, like, more than Disgaea 4, Disgaea D2, I really wanted to play. And for some reason, I, I've i just been holding out, hoping that, like, a a Vita version was going to come out. But it's, it, it'll probably come out, I, I'm guessing, because, you know, apparently NIS is not doing so hot with money. And those Vita ports always sell well. But, uh, again, I can do this on the PS3. That's cool. Um, no idea where I can place these. <laughs> the, uh, the, uh, these are, both of those were special editions, and I assume this is the a US special edition, because I've, I, there is a Japanese special edition, I just haven't seen it. But wow, this is awesome. So cool. So cool. You know, um, I actually don't, personally, I don't buy a lot of special editions, not because I don't think they're cool, it's just because, like, um, you know, I think, off the top of my head, I can see that I have three special editions out of all the games I buy. And it's usually because there's cool stuff that I have to have, like a book or something. It's usually books, so I like to see stuff like this where there's an art book. Um, wow. Okay, there's... Wow, four more things in here. Um, I don't know. I guess I'll go with this one yellow but yeah like I said the special editions almost I have almost none and it's mostly because um, you know I tend to buy I tend to not buy a lot of games right at launch I do buy some not you know it's not like a <laughs> thing where I don't buy any games at launch but usually the special editions are either like in Japan at least, are huge. Like, I got nowhere to put these things. Um, if you've ever seen, like, a Dynasty Warriors kind of special edition, I'm not going to open this because I'm talking, but uh, <laughs> uh, they're, they're, those things are big. Like, too big to place anywhere. And then, like, some are just, like, too expensive for, like, the small amount of stuff they have. And most of the time, I'm, like, only interested if there's, an, if there's a sizable book or something. Or something like, soundtracks are always good, like, but a lot of times those just come as pre-order bonuses. And I see games here. There's two, two in this package. And they look like PS4 games, which, oh, oh my god. <laughs> wow. This is awesome because, like, um, I talk about this in the AGB, AGP chat with these guys all the time. And there's, like, two games for the PS4 that I always, like, have really wanted. And... They they haven't they haven't been released in Japan, and except I um this first one is has no release date in Japan. Uh, this is uh, Alien Isolation, which I've been super excited to play. I really wanted this game, but it hasn't been released in Japan. And I was like, uh, I guess I could import it, but it's gonna be expensive. And I was waiting for it to get really cheap so I could import it. But awesome, so good. Um, this game like I really like the Aliens franchise, um, but this one especially seems like the perfect Alien game for me. Like, it's so awesome. Um, 
I've seen lots of gameplay of it. I've seen like lots of reviews. I've seen like other people gushing about it. Um, I just you know really want to play it. So now <laughs> so glad to have this. And the other one, the other game here in this package was um, the other game that this one is actually coming out in Japan, but um, not not yet. It's not out yet. Um, as I'm making this video, it's not out. And that's uh, Shadow of Mordor, which is um, Lord of the Rings game. And this was a game that like I was really excited for before launch. I know a lot of people were just like blowing it off as a kind of cash-in movie license game, as most movie license games are. And then it turned out to be awesome. So everybody was it turned up on like tons of Game of the Year awards and lists. And I was thinking like. I'm going to make a game of the year, like my top 10 games of the year list, but I really want to wait for Shadow of Mordor, which I was going to buy this week, actually. So it's actually good that this package showed up, because had it showed up um, two days later, I would have bought this. Oh, man. This is so cool. Um, I can't, I'm going to play this today, I think. <laughs> I think I, right when I finish this video, I'm going to put this in. Um, yeah, so awesome. Oh. Wow, I, this is already too much stuff, and I haven't actually found the thing that I know is coming. So I'm actually a little, uh, <laughs> I'm a little, this is way, way too much stuff, like, way more than I was expecting. I, um, I, I don't, thank you so much for this. I know, um... I'm not even sure if I'm going to put this up. I know I'm going to put it up. I'm going to put this up as a private video, definitely, for this person to watch. But me, this one's small. Sounds like a figure. But we're going to open this. Okay, I'm trying not to look so you guys can get the uh, full reaction. I don't know what this is. Oh, wait. Yeah, I do. Okay. This is a Nendroid, and this is Metallica from the uh, from the Witch and the Hundred Knight, a game that I haven't played. Um, I am, it's like been on my list of stuff to buy forever, um, but I never find it. It's never around when I like think I would want to play a game like that. Sometimes I get in the mood and I think like, yeah, I kind of want to play that game. And I'll like go to the store and it's not there. So I just, I, it's still like a thing I haven't bought. And it's like the kind of game that like, I don't want to order so much. Like it's not like huge priority, but like it's a game that I eventually want to play. Um, so it's like it's something I have to run into, but this is cool. Um, actually, I just watched Crack Lotus do a video about his like, kind of, I don't maybe honorable mentions or whatever for the, his games of the year. And this was one of them, which in Hundred Night. And he said that he hated it at first, and that it was awesome. So I'm out looking forward to actually playing that at some point. Uh, but let's see, we got two more boxes in here. Two more things. They, they're both hard. Um, let's open this one. This was the thing that I was uh, expecting. This is the one thing I was expecting. And this is... Um, Hotaru no Niki... Oh, yeah, it is. Hotaru no, Hotaru no Niki, which is Firefly Diaries. This is coming out in the U.S. soon. And, but this was released in Japan, and I was thinking of buying it, but, like, again, it was... Um, I, I was expecting to, like, be able to go to the store and buy it. Like, I didn't pre-order it, because I was something else came out on the same day, and I was like, "Well, I don't want to get it. I can, I'll just get it like a week or two later after I finish the game that I'm getting that day." And it turned out that um, uh, NIS, who made this game, uh, had put the physical version on like super limited, like there were almost none, and because they wanted to push it as a downloadable game for some reason, so the physical edition is super rare. Like it, I never saw it in a store. Like, it never was anywhere. It was sold out everywhere on the first day. And it never showed up again. Like, I've never seen it, even a used copy anywhere. It's it's just not around. Because they wanted to... They didn't, they didn't publish that many. They just wanted to make it downloadable for some reason. And this is... Yeah, I really wanted to play this, but I didn't want to download it, was the thing. I wanted the, the physical copy. And 
the person who sent this was saying like, oh, I got it, but once I'm done with it, I'll just send it over to you. So, and that was like, I don't know, a long time ago. I, I wasn't actually, <laughs> wasn't really expecting it uh, since it's been so long, but like, here it is and it's awesome. Um, this will, I'll play this actually pretty soon. Um, relatively soon. Maybe I'll start this today too, since I'm going to be out of the house for the most of the day. So I'll put it, bring it on my Vita and have this to play. And I'll probably put up an impressions video. I don't think it's that long actually. So probably soon. I'll do the last thing. Last one. Yeah. Last thing. Oh, well, <laughs> that makes sense. Now it all makes sense. Okay, so <laughs> this is The Witch in a Hundred Night. Um, awesome. So this is also the special edition. It comes with a soundtrack and an art book, which... Oh, and this is the US version, isn't it? It must be, because it's not the uh, Japanese name. So, <laughs> yeah, awesome. Um, I have... Like I was saying, I, I really wanted to play this. I just, like, haven't gotten around to buying it which is super cool this is awesome um wow and you know after after he actually just recently i was thinking after hearing crack lotus talk about it i was thinking like yeah i should probably get that at some point and i was looking at it today actually um because there was a game sale but this one wasn't one of the ones that was on sale so i didn't get that i got something else talk about that in a different video but yeah, this was, this is awesome. This stuff is so cool. This is like all special editions. Um, it's like the world of special editions plus the, the, the most, my most wanted games for the PS4, essentially, <laughs> that are out at least. That's, this is amazing. This is way too much stuff too. Like, I can't believe how much stuff you sent. Like, <laughs> crazy. Um, this is like... Um, like, like, I don't know, like three times as much stuff as I was expecting. <laughs> That's like so much crazy. So yeah. Wow. Thank you so much for all this stuff. Um, I, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, I don't know. I'm always weird about, uh, receiving gifts. Like I'm, I'm one of those people that doesn't know how to react. Like how, how should I react to that? What should I do? Um, I, and there are people I like watching open gifts. Like I would probably be, I'm probably awful like to watch opening gifts because I have like, no, <laughs> I'm like such a chill reaction kind of guy. If you've ever seen like Ari Lewis, uh, uh, what's his 2011, I think is the numbers on his name, but Rusty there, he has awesome unboxing videos of gifts because he has like such crazy reactions. Like he gets really excited and like, I get excited about almost nothing. <laughs> in real and i mean in general just like i don't get crazy excited about anything so it's like even though i'm like super excited for this stuff like it's probably a boring video which is you know not not good but <laughs> makes for a not exciting unboxing but i am super excited for this stuff and i'm super grateful to have received this and like for you know we know you know, it's the kind of thing where, like, usually, you know, you see kind of people receive gifts on YouTube, and you you kind of assume there's some kind of, like, motive behind it. I don't know. I don't, I don't know how to put that. Like, um, you know, like, uh, I think, like, the, one of the key examples I can think of is that, like, you know, like, lonely dudes send females gifts so they'll like them stuff like that like and you know as a guy it's it's rare that you get that kind of thing and <laughs> so i don't and i'm not saying that this is that um i'm saying like that seems to be a lot of the gifts videos you you see um or like people who are just like you know hoping for some kind of recognition from it you know what I mean? Like, I mean, it's not to say that people don't send gifts out of the goodness of their heart. I mean, I've received gifts out of the goodness of... I think every gift I've ever gotten off of people on YouTube has just been, like, people who are, like, super cool and 
have similar tastes in games or find something that they think I'd like and they just send it over. And this is another one of those cases. It's just like this person just out of the goodness of their heart, I think, sent me this package and wants zero in return. Like doesn't want to mention, doesn't want, um, doesn't want me to send anything back. Like explicitly doesn't want something back. Um, didn't want to be mentioned at all. And that's the kind of, and like, that's, that's so cool to me. Like, it's such a great thing. It's, <laughs> I mean, it's, it's Christmas, but like, it's the kind of spirit of Christmas, I think, that shows through that thing where like, giving is something you, you know, want to do at this time of year, I guess. And, you know, it's, it's, it's a kind of, uh, I, I, it's our, like it's weird to sound cliche but it's kind of like a heartwarming thing um christmas in japan is like not exactly a uh, you know similar to how i would want to spend christmas it's like a valentine's day and it's not it's not anything like the kind of feeling you get from christmas so like it's rare that you actually would exchange gifts with anyone so like in general for christmas i don't usually get any gifts so this box is actually probably the entirety of my Christmas gifts. Um, it's, you know, how things are. You, it's not like my parents are sending me gifts. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like nearly 40. Um, this, it's the kind of thing where like, this is just, you know, it, it, it means a lot, I think. And it's, and it's obviously, a completely kind of selfish selfless thing and it's you know really great I'm just rambling at this point I've been rambling for like the entirety of this video but it's it it's it is something like I really want to express my gratitude for because it's not something that happens often and when something when it's something that happens like this it's I mean I've never this is like the most amount of games I've ever received as a gift, probably in my entire life. Uh, it's insane. Uh, when I even like to even think about that is kind of insane because like, you know, I've received more expensive stuff like, you know, for my birthday, I got a game system or something, but always it's just like a game system. It's never like a million games. And even, you know, when I was a kid, it's not like a, you know, on Christmas year, you're lucky to get one game. So it's the kind of thing where this kind of thing is like pretty amazing to me. And I just want to express my gratitude and how thankful I am to not only to receive this stuff, but to have this person to talk to and to have this person as someone like I've never actually met in real life, but I'd still consider someone as my friend. And I think a lot of people on that I know on YouTube count as that i mean there's people i talk to online nearly every day um that i've never met and i think of them as my friends so <laughs> you know this is kind of how things work out i guess um yeah <laughs> i don't know where i'm going with this i just should probably end this so yeah again this was amazing and i guess merry christmas to uh the person who sent me this especially but to everybody so yeah i guess i'll see you guys next time